Okay, Focus, as you know, I'm coming uh, to this game hurt. I was destroyed last time. So let's do our King Sindian attack. So Sicilian defense, we do our thing. I know, repetitive, same thing that we've been playing for a long time. But that's what the other guy put in our openings plan, right? So King Sindian attack, let me just take. And just like that, we get to the middle game. Put the king in safety, c3. My queen goes to c2, and we just get a very quiet game. Although, let me go for that bishop first. If they move it, well, uh, it's okay, but I really want to get rid of those of that pair of bishops. All right, they don't mind it. Just like that, the light squares are weak. So let me finish development and then focus on placing a knight on d5. Now, this is to put my knight on f1, then e3, and finally get to d5. Now, before I do this, let me go bishop g5 and uh, eliminate the defender of d5 there we go and guys i'm happy to place my knight okay good move so let me activate the rook only piece doing nothing guys just like in the last game we played the king's in attack uh, i think it was game 86 all right h4 simple to put my king on on h2 bishop h3 and put my bishop on a better diagonal Hmm. All right, now I just improved my rook, bishop h3, and, uh, hmm. All right, I like that pin on the f5 pawn. Is there any way that I can continue to add more pressure to it? Hmm. And guys, I don't know if you can sense it, but... I'm a little bit uh, a little bit upset <laughs> from last game. Uh, just trying to get here uh, the best I can from this game. So a4 simple. Just trying to create some weaknesses on the queen side as well. And also notice that I'm a little bit ahead of uh, when it comes to time. I'm better. I'm doing better than before. I cannot forget, guys. Game 86. I had a great game because I had time to think. So I need to make sure that I prioritize that. All right, so I think my rook is ready to go to. Well, let me take first, and then my rook is gonna go to the seventh rank. This has to be. This has to be a good move. Always making sure that they have no checks on our king or any attacks. All right, so I don't want to move back. So let me defend the rook by activating my queen. And just like that, what if I go queen? Nah, nah, nah. All right, so I was, I was considering to do queen b3, but. Well, I like the idea of penetrating uh, through the d-file to d6. And like that, I'm going to be hitting the knight on e7. If the knight leaves, then I'm going to have um, a check on d5. Yep. Uh, or what if I go to c7 instead? Doubling on the 7th rank. Hmm. So what would you do, guys? What would you do? Queen d5 or queen c7? Well, I'm going to... Keep it simple, check, then I'm going to take on f5, why not? Oof, mistake. Guys, why is this a mistake? What did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> this is horrible. All right, I mean, I, I think we're still in good shape, but this is a silly mistake. Well, let me know in the comments if you if you know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, this is a... Uh, even if, if they find the move... Hmm. Yeah, there are just too many weaknesses on the light squares now. Okay, now let's uh, now let's just pin the knight, and it looks like they're getting sort of sort of like in the in a six one position here. The knight cannot move. The queen shouldn't move. Uh, I'm thinking they have to do bishop f8 to defend the knight. And now, hmm. Mm. Now, notice that I don't need to rush. They have only five seconds, but I don't want to make them run out of time. I want to make sure that I find good continuations, lines that makes them think so that they spend time or they lose. All right, bishop f7, interesting. Now, what if I just... Guys, they're in sooks one. What if they I just do like a, like a waiting move here? So rook b7, and now what could they do? All of their pieces are tied up. So there you go, guys. I think this was a better game. This is the, the, the secret. We need to make sure that we don't get low on time anymore. With that said, I will see you in game 89.